Always check, make safe, and treat all weapons as if they are loaded at all times. Let's get started installing the Cross Armory Quick Pins for the 308 AR-10. In the package you will find the instruction card with adjustment shims, Quick Pins assembly, the alignment pin, and the hex key needed to complete the installation. First operation we need to remove the rear takedown pin. After removal, set it aside as it will not be used again. Then, at this point, separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. At this point, we need to remove the buffer spring by depressing the buffer spring retainer. Pull the buffer spring completely out of the buffer tube. Next, let's loosen the castle nut which fixes the buffer tube to the firearm. Now pull back on the buffer plate and pay attention to the detent spring as it will fly across the room if you're not careful. Now let's remove the buffer tube spring retainer. Place your finger over the buffer tube retainer spring and slowly unscrew the buffer tube. This will free the buffer tube retainer spring. Be careful, there is quite a bit of energy in this retainer spring. Always take precautions by wearing safety glasses. Remove the retainer spring assembly and set to the side. We will reuse this again. Now let's remove the buffer tube and the buffer plate completely. The buffer plate will not be used again in this assembly. Now, let's prepare the quick pins assembly for installation on the firearm. With the supplied hex key, we will unscrew the retainer screw holding the internal spring assemblies. Take extra care to cover the hole with your finger, as the spring will fly out of the hole unless stopped. Remove the springs and set aside for later use. Repeat on both sides of the quick pins assembly, noting the orientation of the spring assemblies. Please take note of the directions of the quick pins assembly as you remove them from the quick pin assembly body. Next, we need to install and align the quick pins to the firearm. Take the quick pins assembly with the supplied alignment pin and place the assembly on the back side with the alignment pin through the rear takedown pin hole. Now install the buffer tube and castle nut back onto the firearm. Do not tighten the buffer tube completely to its final position as we need to install the buffer spring retainer assembly. Now install the buffer spring retainer assembly and screw the buffer tube in until the buffer tube retainer spring assembly is captured. Now install the buffer spring back into the buffer tube. At this point we will tighten the castle nut and check that the alignment pin easily slides from side to side indicating proper alignment. If the alignment rod does not slide easily, then use the supplied shims to achieve this alignment. Usually one of the supplied shims will be adequate to get the perfect fit. It may be necessary to try different thickness shims or a combination of shims to achieve the desired fit of the alignment pin. You can add a shim or shims to the assembly by loosening the castle nut and sliding a shim between the lower receiver and the quick pins assembly. Tighten the castle nut and check that the alignment pin slides with little effort. After you have achieved the desired fit, you can bend the tab on the top of the shim back and forth and it will break off cleanly. Now it's time to reinstall the pins, making sure that the open side of the pins is facing towards the retainer screw. Before tightening the retainer screw, we must ensure that the spring has been depressed before you tighten the retainer screw. 
To do this, use the supplied alignment pin and use the smaller end of the alignment pin to depress the spring as far as it will go while tightening the retaining screw. When the retainer screw is seated far enough to capture the spring, you can remove the alignment pin and tighten the retaining screw. Be careful that the retainer screw does not bottom out and that the pin can easily and freely move. As always, it is recommended to use threadlock compound on this screw. Repeat the process on the other side. With the installation complete, it's time to check the operation of the system. By squeezing both sides of the quick pins, you will be able to separate the upper from the lower receiver.